Hey everybody, this is your girl Sammy Sab, and I'm back with another video. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and tap the notification bell so that you are aware of all my future videos. Today is a combination of Dollar Tree and Dollar General. This is my second Dollar Tree uh, for the morning. I do as I'm doing every Saturday morning. I go in and I grab my Saturday, uh, my Sunday papers and I begin my routine for Saturday. This is Dollar Saturdays. So first off, I'm coming into the store. This is a store that they really do not like for us to tape in. So I'm moving kind of fast and I will be picking up some more of the Chex Mix that they have for a dollar here. And I have a dollar coupon off of two, which will make both of these bags 50 cents. Okay. So I'll be paying 50 cents per bag of Chex Mix. Okay. As you've seen me in previous videos, I do get Chex Mix, Bugles, but I think we got enough of Bugles. So I'm just going to grab some Chex Mix. This makes great for Solomon's favorite, one of Solomon's favorite snacks. Okay, she's all in my way. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I did bring in only a few coupons because it's been a while since I've been here. And uh, I've been talking with friends of mine that let me know that some people, I won't say who, um, don't have the best attitudes when they see us coming in the Dollar Trees because they already feel like we get enough discount with just the, with the dollar. See, as you can see right here, these are the much... Uh, uh, bought bugles that I've been buying uh, for about the last week or so but I'm just gonna pass on getting more of those and I'm just gonna concentrate on the checks uh, because like I said he does love the checks so I'm gonna move very quickly to the next item and keep in mind when you're couponing at the Dollar Tree uh, at any dollar store that um, it's at the, uh, the manager's discretion whether or not to accept coupons so some of them may not even accept coupons so you can always ask the manager if they accept coupons. So here is uh, a much needed essential. It's toothpaste. But as we all know at the Dollar Tree, you have to be very, very uh, careful in getting the toothpaste. So I like to get the two-in-ones mouthwash that, that uh, kind of connects and attaches with the toothpaste coupons. Uh, so I will be paying 50 cents for each bottle of these instead of a dollar okay so you can feel free to look for the toothpaste some of them have three or more ounces you just have to kind of look and uh, make sure that it will go with that particular coupon but I'm just gonna get the two two-in-ones I like the whitening but I think I'm gonna switch and just get the two-in-ones that I always get and um Note to uh, the audience, when I got to the register, that cashier was not liking the fact that I was doing this couponing here. Um, so I guess she was one of the ones that wasn't too happy, right? Okay, so you have two different kinds you can choose from, which is the whitening and the Colgate 2-in-1. And I'm putting this back, and I'm going to opt to get the 2-in-1s. So, uh, again, these will be 50 cents. Okay, because I have 50 cents coupons. And I'm just taking a very quick note here because they also have some freezers in most of the Dollar Trees. You have to be very particular and see which ones have it. But see these State Fair corn dogs? From time to time, we get coupons in the paper for corn dogs. And it makes these free. So I just wanted to check and see if they still have them. And uh, here's the Mott's uh, apple juice. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you know that when we get those apple juice coupons, I come right on to the stores and I grab my apple juice as well as some breakfast meats. And I think I'll go back over there and check those out in just a minute. And they have good stuff. As you can see, it's name brand items. And some of the name brand and uh, non name brand items are just as good as our name brand items. So let me go back over to the breakfast meats. And uh, over here, you have the Jimmy Dean uh, breakfast sandwiches. And yeah, I just wanted to go back and let you guys see. These are the breakfast sandwiches and the meat that we get. And you know, we get those coupons for a dollar off, dollar fifty off. I go here and I go to Family Dollar and I clean up. So I just wanted to like take some time and show you guys that yes, 
it is possible. See this this hot sauce up here? This peat hot sauce. Remember, I just did this in a video uh, for the Kroger uh, haul on the other day. I'm grabbing two bottles, but I don't think it's going to make it for the cut because I really do have enough hot sauce. But I do have a 50, 55 cents off of two coupon just in case I decide to buy it. But I really don't think I'm going to buy it, you guys. So when you get to the end and it's not in my basket, you'll know I went ahead and took it out. And here's just some relish or whatever. And I'm making my way down uh, to the cereal, but I'm going to pick up some Wichita sauce while I'm here. And as you can see, um, yeah, I grabbed my witch's sauce, so let's keep it rocking. And there's many things that you can find, great seasonings. Um, and some of these things that we have, we have coupons for. And I try to look on the coupons that don't, spe don't specify a certain size or a certain quantity. And those coupons are likely to be accepted. Okay? So now I'm going to pick up. I was looking up here and at the fruit roll-ups or whatever, but I don't have my coupons for the fruit roll-ups, and I'm sure they'll be coming in the next couple of weeks. But here we have Captain Crunch cereal, and as you guys know, I have been using those 75 cents off of two, I'm sorry, dollar off of two coupons. And on the coupon, it says a dollar off of two boxes, but at this store, as long as they don't beat, they normally take it for the bags. And all we can do is try, right? You'll never know if a coupon will be accepted unless you try it out. And don't get mad if it doesn't go as you plan. Just keep trying until you get the particular coupon to work or you'll know the next time not to even try it because it didn't work in that particular store. Some managers will go ahead on and key it in, but others just won't accept it. And unfortunately, that's at their discretion, okay? So... I think I'm just about done, but I'm just looking through some things, just letting you guys see. I'm sorry my finger is in the way of me filming. Um, just letting you see some other items that they have available. These granola bars right here. I just don't have my coupons for those, but we do get coupons, guys, in the paper. Uh, the you know the honey bunches of oats and the cinnamon toast crunch. I should have brought my coupon, but I'm gonna go back and probably next week if they have some still available, I'll pick some of these up. But I am so excited just to be back in the Dollar Tree uh, couponing. I hadn't got a chance to come here. I normally go to the one by my house. But they don't really take coupons. She said, I don't really like to deal with them. So I just don't fool with them. And so I couldn't argue the way I wanted to get with her. But I wanted to tell her, look, lady. <laughs> but you go where you know they are accepted, right? And again, if you have not given this video a thumbs up, let's start by doing that right about now. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'm just continuing to let you see that they have macaroni and cheese. They have some great finds in the Dollar Tree. Do not, I repeat, do not sleep on the Dollar Tree, guys. And as y'all can see, my purse is so wet because I have been out since early this morning. And I got wet all up. And I was coming back here just to check, as I always do, in the cleaning department, trying to see if they have some more Lysol wipes or Lysol, or Lysol cleaners. And unfortunately, like all the rest of the stores, their shelves are just as clean as the others. And in the near future, I'm sure we'll be getting uh, our healthy coupons in for our paper plates. This is where I come as well to get my, my healthy uh, paper plates. Yep, so as you can see, Bounce, Suavitel, some awesome finds here. And unfortunately, when we try to use the PGs, they do beat. So depending on who's the manager, they will not push them through. They will just say they beat and they will not accept it. So I did get some other items, glass items that, you know, we didn't use coupons for. But I wanted to show you things that I did get the coupons for. And all of my coupons came off. However... Um, I forgot to put the in the receipt uh, in for the dollar store, but here's a coupon I just wanted to show you. Here's my dollar off for the, the Captain Crunch and my 50 cent Colgate coupons. I will have to go try to go back and get it as much as I can just to insert the coupons. But these are the items that I did pick up that needed a coupon for them. And the Chex Mix, I've been rocking that. All week long, and the 50 cent coupons for Colgate 
hey we're looking good here and here are my coupons i did put it in oh yay great so um what happens is these are my two newspapers for the two dollars but over here the coupon that i'm thinking that did not come off is literally i'm thinking the uh that the the colgate didn't come off because the other ones did come off and it did say a dollar fifty in savings so the only thing that i can think of is that one of them did not come off but it was okay uh it was under uh eight dollars so hey i'm cool this is my third store of the day this is dollar general and so i've been to two dollar trees and now i'm headed into dollar general where all of the, the glitches and the savings come alive and we're gonna start it off just like we started the last uh store we're gonna pick up two bags of checks once again this time we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna get the original flavor this time <laughs> i told you i got pleather of these coupons okay so here they are a dollar as well and when we use that dollar off of two it works just the same okay and we will be paying uh 50 cents per bag okay so we're moving on moving on because we're um like i said we have a dollar off of two so if you got two bags that's two dollars and you're gonna take a dollar off guys that's gonna leave you with a dollar now i picked up these honey buns and i had a coupon on here but i wasn't sure what it was for so as soon as i get a moment i'm going to scan to see what coupon is attaching to the honey buns because i believe i got the wrong box if it does not attach to a coupon honey buns come out the basket yeah the object is to save money not to give away money so um yeah so i have these high chews and they're a dollar. Guess what? We have dollar coupons. Y'all, my whole heart was broke. Because at the end of this, when I got to get to the register, I realized I did not bring those coupons in. So I'll just do a separate little uh, video just to show you how the hot shoes work. I'll probably do it this week on my do now, okay? Because we do have dollar coupons. That would have made those hot shoes totally free, okay? All right, we're going to move on. So we're here to the paper deals. Y'all know I love paper. Uh, and I needed to get some more paper towels, more so than tissue. So I just picked up two paper towels and one tissue. This will be for my second transaction. And I'll have to get a little bit more than 25. I'll actually have to get it up to 28 in order for that $3 instant savings to fall off when we spend 15 Okay, so my goal for the second transaction is $28 versus $25. I'm looking at the dogs and treats over here, the little dog biscuits, because that was a glitch this week, and I guess they beat me to it. That would have made something totally free that cost a dollar. But the dollar could have actually went to my balance, okay? But it's okay. You have a lot of filler items that you use. I'm picking up my sky here. You have a lot of filler items that you can use to make up that basket for $25. Okay, so here it is. It's going to be the third item that I'm picking up that will make that $3 instance savings come to be. Okay, and so now we're getting one of my old time favorites, the Always Discreet uh, Liners. They're on sale for $3 each pack, but guess what? I have a $2 off coupon. That will make this only $1. Okay, whether you have an app or not, if you have a coupon, same price. But I need two because I need one for one transaction and one for the other. Yes, I'm at the back of the store where the stock room is. I got it like that. I love the managers here. Everybody here is totally cool. But there are a couple of book of errors that work here though. <laughs> okay, so I got two of these guys. One for the first transaction, one for the second. It's a great filler item. All right, we're going to move right along. And I could have got a, a, a always or a tail pack, but it would, have been, it would have been making me pay just a little bit too much that I did not plan to pay today. And as always, I'm stopping to see if there's an indicator uh, toothbrush here because that $2 off of one would have gave me a dollar 
No, not a dollar overage. It would have just made it completely free. I'm sorry. And I'm always checking to see if there's some uh, Olay here. I was looking for the four count, but that's not back in stock as, as yet. Nope. Just checking down below. These are just some old time favorites that will attach to a coupon that will make it free or low out of pocket. And what do your girl go for? The free. Here's another great filler item that I'm going to pick up. Jergens Lotion. It's on sale for $3.75. I have a $2 off coupon, which will make this what? $1.75. Let's put it into the basket and see if we need it at the end. It's always good to pick up items just in case we need it at the end. Something don't come off, something don't ring up. It's always good to have it so you don't have to run back to the back of the store. And next comes a great deal that I did earlier this week that I'm doing again today on my other card. It is the greeting cards. They are two for a dollar or, you know, 50 cents. But we have a coupon on our app for three for a dollar 50, which means if I pick up three of these, you guessed it, it's going to be free. Actually, the store charges us a penny. So I'll pay that three cents. Sure will per card. Let's do it. You can give this video a thumbs up because it's definitely need one because you know these deals are great. You know they're crazy good. You know they are. So here comes my next part of the actual store that I love. It's the laundry deal. Like I need another bottle of Simply Tide, a Tide Simply. But guess what? I told you if they're giving me cheap detergent, I'm definitely going to take it. It's on sale, guys. It's $2.95. I have a two dollar off coupon hello i'm paying a dollar 95. yes ma'am don't even need the app although most of these things today are digital we do have paper coupons that come in our newspaper that are just as good as the digitals because they are equivalent have the same value here's the palm olive and normally i pick up the palm olive but i do have coupons that i'm going to save when i go to walgreens okay but this is a great value as well okay here comes another great deal coming up now. They have all in snug, guys. You buy two and you get one free. So I opted to do two all, one snuggle. Why? First of all, I have a lot of snuggle. Second of all, the all liquid is cheaper than the snuggle. If you get the smaller bottles, they are four dollars. And we have dollar coupons for them, which I forgot to add at the end. But you have two up there. See, I don't know how I'm going to get it, but somebody's going to help me get it. Okay. And I got it. So now here's a great deal here. Look at this. They are $1.25, y'all. But we have a dollar coupon in our app. We only pay a quarter for these fun pencils. Can't beat it. You see where I'm going with the great deals? I had to come back to the laundry hall. I needed some flings and I needed these fireworks. $3.95, $2 coupon, yes. For the good, $1.95, that's what we're paying today. Honey buns, y'all, I'm about to pull them out because they're not gonna make it. They're not gonna make it. No, nope. I already see they're not gonna make it because there's nothing that's attaching. That's the lady who gave me a hard time last week, but I'm ready for you today, girlfriend. I'm about to pick up this Tresemme, guys. We have a coupon for dollars off of two so we're looking for no not the five dollar ones we want the four dollar ones we're gonna get two bottles of tresemme we're gonna take four dollars off it was eight dollars but we're gonna take four dollars off leaving us to pay four dollars or just two dollars a bottle yes y'all know my bonus daughter penny this is her shampoo this is who i buy for babies love my children I believe in investing in my kiddos. So now we're at the register and you didn't see me pick up the uh, Aussie for $3, but we did pick up a bottle of Aussie and I have a coupon for $1.50, okay? So here we are with our first transaction. And we're trying to get to $25 on the first transaction or a little bit more as long as we could hit that middle mark on the first one because I did get more than I was supposed to. As you can see, my subtotal is $35. I went over OMG, but I needed a whole lot of things, so I'm not tripping on it. I got the things that I needed. Coupons were expiring, and I needed to take care of some items. The second one is the one I'm really concentrating on here. 
Okay, so it's showing coupons accepted. You see right there, thirty-five dollars and ten cents was my subtotal. Was you got it? Look at them discounts. <laughs> you see them? Yeah. So my subtotal was nineteen dollars, y'all. Okay. Here's a second transaction. Here you go. Remember, we had to get to twenty-eight at least in order for that three-dollar instant to come off, and I paid with a paper coupon. So I had to make sure that I reached that threshold in order for those uh, instant savings to fall off. Yeah, I moved the phone. Y'all may already know my number, but it's okay. I had to move it because too many people be trying to be in my business. So let's get on back over here to the register. What does it say? Come on, come on. It's coming. It's coming down. This computer is so slow. Oh, okay. Coupon accepted. Coupon for the Aussie. Store discount. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? How you see it? How I'm seeing it? Yes. Discount, y'all. Okay? So let's look at that total. What we're looking like. And I apologize because this camera is trying to focus on its own, but it's taking a long time. And I'm trying to keep my eye on the register and on this uh on this camera. Okay, so it says subtotal $22. So already we know we're doing a whole lot better. So here come the manufacturing coupons going in. All right, we met our threshold. The five dollar was accepted. So now we want to give them the manufacturing coupons, and there we go. It's coming down. Coupons going in. Store savings, store discounts going in now. Yes, yes, that's what we want. Thirteen dollars and fifty cents. Okay. So normally I do a little bit better, but again, I'm all about that getting what you need and a little bit of what you want. So right here, pay close attention to where you keep saying the store discount, store discount. The big pencils right there. They were on sale, okay, $1.25, but we had a dollar coupon, dropping it down to a quarter. Yes. The store discounts is how the $3 instance was broken down. The $5 off of $25 was how it was broken down. So anywhere you see DG Savings at or you see store discounts, those are all the coupons coming off, guys. I do this every week. I study and I do these deals every week. I do do now deals as well as I do uh, 5 off 25s, okay? But sometimes we don't have $25 to get to the threshold and all of that extra. So I do what's called do now deals on a Wednesday. Here's a subtotal right there, $13.50. Yes. Still not convinced? Look closely. Come close. Do you see it, Scott? The Scott? Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Okay, do you see it? Came down. It came down. I know you saw that. So sometimes, like I said, we don't have... The means to do what everybody else is doing. We have to we have to shop in our budget. So these are all of my newspapers and my papers, and I thank y'all so much, y'all. I hope y'all was able to see those sales coming down. Okay, stay safe, mask up, keep keep yourself sanitized. I love you guys. Till the next time, bye.